plumber's videos. Can you believe they put that bond in after the first tea? My name's Alan Hart and today I've got videos and pictures that's been sent in by you guys. The first one we've got is from Elliot from eFry Gas Services. So I'll show you that and then we'll get into the video and I'll show you some more as well. Good morning everyone. So I came and surveyed this job only, oh, only two days ago and it was for the possibility of getting rid of the uh, tank at the loft, getting rid of the hot water cylinder it's um this place is on economy seven and um yeah fitting an unvented cylinder and the very next day they phoned me up saying they got water coming through the ceiling and you can see this is sodden let's get another torch on it that might help it's absolutely sodden see the chipboard here look there look at that just falling apart my finger absolutely done so just basically the importance of first of all if you're going to have a tank in the loft space, or a cistern as you should call it, um, use marine ply. And secondly, make sure overflows are done properly. Now, when I came up into the loft a minute ago before I've drained this out, it was like that. That was it. It was just in. And I thought, oh, I wonder what's happening. And it just pulled out straight like that. And not only that, it was cut wonky. So it's never going to fully engage into the into the fitting so if you're going to use overflow engage it fully into the fitting make sure it's not cut wonky um, and for me you can run overflow like that but i'd prefer to clip it um, and yeah mount mount it on marine ply and strong wood rather than chipboard that's just I mean, look at that it's just falling apart as i'm running my fingers through it trying to get close and more in focus for you anyway, look at that look. rubbish so the importance really, and this was, I say, I hadn't even touched anything, I'd just come round to survey it and the very next day it packed up. So I'm here now on, uh, on Thursday, going to rip this beast out and um, fit and unvented. Thank you very much for that, Elliot. And that just shows for, for the new guys, for uh, new apprentices, plumbers, etc. try and use or always use something that's more durable, more waterproof when you're putting tanks etc onto them so again thank you very much for that Elliot and now we've got, we've got some more pictures um, some pictures that have been sent in so yeah let's have a look at them this first one is a glow worm just shows the importance of having the correct clearances on this particular boiler the engineer's gone out and he is not able to repair the boiler the boiler's not working and he, can, he cannot repair it. He cannot even get into the test point for the flue gas analyzer. So there's no way of him checking or testing this boiler. The next one is an ideologic flue. You can see that it can just be pulled out. Also, it's got white, I'm sure. The next one is gas pipe work with an inappropriate fitting. So that's a radiator bleed point. And you can see the engineers cut it out and made it safe. The next one is a leaking baxi. I find a lot of these problems, when you see these problems, they're on very dirty systems. It's been leaking from O-rings, but maybe the boiler's overheated, or I'm not sure. As I say, these have been sent in, these pictures. And this next one is a, it's a Worcester Bosch combi boiler. And if we have a look on this, we can see it's got all stains down the heat exchanger. And if we have a look above the heat exchanger, we can see that it's leaking down from the flue. And I had one of these recently, and the one on mine, we can see the, the flue was too steep. It's a little bit of a hard picture to show there, but the flue was very steep, and it was letting the water come back down in on the inside, and it was shorting the gas valve out on the boiler. And this one, it's hard to even believe that anybody could even do this. But if we look closely here, we can see the copper pipe, the gas pipe. It actually runs through the, the down pipe, the fall pipe, and then they put silicone around it. How anybody could think that that would be acceptable is absolutely beyond me. If you like this type of video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, please, if you could, add a comment below. 
it does help with the video the next one that we've got now is from Chris at Power Plumbing and Heating so last job of the day is Friday and it's replacing the flow and return pipes on this uh, valent combi you can see here that the rubber connection pipe is leaking uh, between the flow and return I had to cut them in half to get them out and I've replaced them with these nice new shiny copper um, flow and return pipes with no rubber connection hoses the burner had to come out to do this and uh, yeah these are the flow and return pipes that uh, are inside the boiler that I've replaced you can see they are really badly blocked up with sludge um, not good so you can see here that the flow and return pipes have been put back in I've refilled the system um, replaced the burner and uh, yeah you can hear a bit of air going around but uh, all was good so job finished front casing back on pressure's fine Oh, what were you looking at? at 1.6. That's great. Yeah, heating's just come on. Yeah, that just starts cooling. This thing should be happy. You will have heat and hot water this weekend. Thank you very much to Chris for sharing the um, the valent pipes. If anybody else has got any videos, again, please send them in. I'll add my WhatsApp details below in this video. Uh, thank you to everybody who has sent videos, pictures, etc. in. For this this is just a short video today i've got another video coming shortly which is going to be um it's a request and it's moving i did a video where i um took out an open vent boiler took out a heat only boiler and i put a combi boiler back down like in the kitchen or the utility room and i've been re the request is if i could do it as if i'm going to put it up in the airing cupboard so i'm going to do a video on that i have started to do that video um, so I'm going to do a video on that if you've got any questions to do with that so the video will be if we took um, we took a cylinder out of an airing cupboard and we could put a combi boiler back in that airing cupboard and it's going to be what pipes we need what the best scenario all different scenarios really to do with that issue so if you have got any questions about that then please as I said put some comments below it in here I am doing this video today so obviously if we get some um if we get the questions quickly i'll try and add them into the video also i'd like to thank all the people that's clicked the join button that's i really appreciate that um, going forward hopefully i'm going to have some special things for the people that's clicked the join button it's only a small amount of money two pound 99 per month um and as i've said before every penny that i get from that join button will be donated to candlelight as charity and also i will match that as well so up to the total cap for me would be a thousand pound so up to a thousand pound i will also match them donations and my i'll tell you my my plan with that is long term if i could get 300 people that click that join button that would earn us about 10 grand a year for candle lighters which i think would be amazing if this channel could do that i think it would be amazing um and that's the whole point of this channel the channel is for it's for you guys to learn it's for me to earn some income from it i'm never going to be a millionaire but also to help the charity as well so it's just like a you know a balanced thing really um and I am babbling on. So if you've got any questions, please put them below. Any ideas, recommendations, any videos. Again, I'll have my WhatsApp below. And thank you. Thanks very much. And thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. Thanks very much.